Hey, yogis, Sina here from M Theory. I wanted to hop on and provide a yoga nidra as part of the seven chakra series of vinyasa flow videos that I have put on my YouTube channel. You may have already seen or will see also a brief introductory video that discusses about what the chakras are, um, what where they're located, and when they are in balance, um, what they signify in the body, when they're overactive, or when they're underactive. So I hope you'll check that out. You may have already. However, what I would like to provide you now is a yoga nidra, which is a guided meditation where you're not um, sleeping, but it creates this meditative sleep-like state that the evidence shows equates to a uh, short note yoga nidra of 15 to 20 minutes can equate to about three hours of sleep. And if you've been around my YouTube channel, you would see that I posted a yoga nidra shortly after the um, stay in home shelter transitioning around the impact of COVID-19 across the world. And I had provided a nidra then, but I also wanted to provide another nidra as part of this chakra series. And as I guide you through this meditation, which we'll get started with in a minute, I would love for you to think of um, your mantra or setting an intention that might align with a specific chakra or perhaps working your way up through the chakra from the root chakra all the way to the crown. Um, should you have watched the introductory video, there are phrases I left for each one of these seven chakras um, to leave you with, and I hope that maybe that can serve as well as a mantra. For example, with our throat chakra, the word or mantra would be, I speak. With our third eye chakra, we the word or phrase would be, um, I see. So totally up to you, though, at the right time that you want to set your intention during this guided meditation to anything that serves you, you are certainly welcome to do so. So as we get started, it would be great for you to um, position yourself in a comfortable rested state, whether that's Shavasana. Uh, most, most of the time as people work through a guided meditation, they are in a shavasa, Shavasana restful posture. But if it's preferable for you to use some props at home, um, using a bolster perhaps on your back or if you wish to be on it forward. You can use blocks. You can have your legs up a wall. So any position or posture that you can stay in for roughly 15 or, or 20 minutes um, without having to move is perfect. So take a moment. Maybe you want to pause this video and get yourself settled. And then we will begin the practice. So as you come to lie in your rested state, stretch the body. However, leave your head in line with your body. Feet can be slightly apart and arms beside you. So if you're on your mat, your arms are beside you on the mat, palms turned up to receive, make yourself comfortable, then let your body remain still. Close your eyes and keep them closed until the end of this guided meditation and make a promise to yourself, I will not sleep, I will remain awake. So repeat after me, I am awake and aware, awake and aware. Now take a deep breath in and feel coolness and calmness spreading throughout your entire body. As you breathe out, let your cares and worries flow from you. Become aware of the body 
and relax completely, both physically and mentally, while remaining awake and aware. Become aware of your breath as it moves between your navel and throat. Set an intention for this meditation, your mantra, phrase, a word, one singular word. Repeat this resolve mentally three times in your head with feeling and awareness. Now begin to rotate the awareness from one part of your body to the next. Repeat the name of the part in your mind as you simultaneously become aware of it. Try to remain alert, but do not concentrate too hard. Become aware of the right side of your body. Take your awareness to your right hand, the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, back of your hand, then the wrist, arm, elbow, shoulder, underarm, waist, hip, thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of your foot, top of your foot, and your toes. Now become aware of the left side of your body. Take your awareness to your left hand, the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, the palm, back of your hand, then on to your wrist, arm, elbow, shoulder, underarm, waist, the hip, thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, and toes. Bring your awareness to your back. Become aware of your shoulder blades, the low back, the buttocks, back through the spine and your whole back together. Now move your attention to the top of your head. Notice the forehead, temples, eyebrows, the space between the eyebrows, the third eye, your eyelids, eyes, ears, cheeks, nose, the tip of the nose, your lips, chin, throat. 
the whole right chest, the whole left chest, your navel, the abdomen, and now the entire whole front of your body. As you continue to scan down the entire right leg, and the entire left leg. Now both legs together. Your entire right arm. Your entire left arm. Both arms together. Do not sleep. Say to yourself, I am awake. I am awake and aware. Awake and aware. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the earth or the wall. As we begin now to concentrate on the body as if seeing it from the outside, look at your body lying on the floor as an object, like a reflection in an imaginary mirror. Now imagine a well, dark and deep. Look into the well. There is a bucket on a chain. You lower it into the well. It moves into the darkness of the well. You cannot see it. Now pull the bucket up out of the darkness into the light. Ask yourself, what am I thinking? Do not think, but become aware of the thought process. Be a witness. Now, awaken the feeling of lightness as if your body is made of cotton. Your body seems to be floating away from the floor. Next, awaken a feeling of heaviness, as if your body is made of lead. Awaken the sensation now of heat. Your whole body is hot. Now experience bitter cold, the body like ice. Try to remember the experience, make it vivid. As we now move to visualize some images on the level of feeling, awareness, and emotion, let each one appear like a slide in your mental screen. A flickering candle. A tall palm tree. A car moving on the road. White clouds. 
a starlit night, a full moon, a standing dog, a sleeping cat, an elephant in the water, a racing horse, the rising sun behind mountains, the setting sun now behind the mountains, the ocean of waves, a big lake with crystal clear water, a white lotus, a boat sailing on the water, see the ripples it makes. Chimney smoke that rises from an old house. The dawn of a new day. A yogi, you, in deep meditation. Awake and aware. Awake and aware. Become a witness of your awareness, not the body, not the senses, not the mind, nothing but awareness. Become aware that you are observing yourself. Look within and be aware of the one who is looking. Go to the space behind your forehead. There is a flaming light. Find this light and you will see in its center a small golden egg, bright and shimmering. Repeat your mantra, your resolve, your intention again silently to yourself three times. Relax all efforts, draw your mind outside, and become aware of the breath. Become aware of the surroundings, the room that you are in. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. If you're up on the wall, maybe this is an invitation to come down, body stretched out. And if you're there, stay where you are. Wiggling fingers and toes, touching each thumb, each finger to your thumb. And maybe you start to draw your big toes to touch and reach the arms above your head as if you're taking a good morning wake up stretch. Take a deep inhale through your nose, fill up the belly, spread the ribs wide, feel the lungs and then open your mouth, push it out Maybe it's audible. 
We'll take another just like that. Inhale through the nose. Fill up your belly, spread the ribs. Send the breath now as if to your toes. And as you exhale, bring the knees to the chest. And begin to softly rock from right to left, releasing your L5 low back. Make your way over to your right side when you're ready. And use the right arm as a pillow. And the left arm could be laying on your thigh or maybe it's rooted to the earth. And just pause here. Thank yourself for taking this time to meditate, to focus on yourself. To your resolve, your intention. When you're ready, slowly press your way up to an easy seat where you are. Bring the hands to heart center. We'll take a final falling out breath together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale the thumb to third eye center, center of intuition, exhale, bow forward. The light in me honors the light, the beauty in the yogis who have joined for this guided meditation, this yoga nidra, where I'm so forever grateful. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed this nidra. You are welcome to come back to it anytime you need. And really, there's no need to necessarily watch me should you come back to this in the future. You're welcome to simply listen to my voice in a quiet space. Maybe it's in the eve before bed or at the beginning of your day to set the pace for your day. It's something you can come back to again and again. Have a great day every day. Namaste.